In this video, we shall draw and simulate our first design to get a feel how simulation works. For that, let's design a passive low pass filter in Multisim. For the given circuit and step input signal, the expected output is exponentially rising signal. The equation of a low pass filter is given here. Tau is the time constant of the system and determines the curvature of the exponential part. Say we want a time constant of 100 microseconds for our system, then we can take some realistic values for the components like R equals to 1 kilo and C equals to 100 nanofarad. So drawing the circuit in multisim. The connection between the nodes is called a net. Notice how we highlight and level the nets for observation. Grounding a circuit is very important for simulation. Every circuit must get a zero reference, otherwise we will get simulation error. Now it's time to change the input signal properties. Let's define the step time to 10 microsecond, which means the step will occur 10 microseconds later. Till then, the input remains to initial value. Rise time to 1 nanosecond, which is like an ideal step to our circuit time constant. And we are taking a unit step as per our equation. So our circuit is complete and all the parameters are set. The kind of simulation now we will be doing is called transient or time domain response. Multisim facilitates many other simulations like frequency analysis, parameter strip, noise analysis, etc. We should try to demonstrate a few of them as well. To start any simulation, we must go to simulate option to analysis. Right now we go to transient analysis. This analysis window has four tabs, out of which first two are very important. But before we start simulation, one must understand how simulation actually works. A simulator creates complete system equation and solves them using discrete mathematics. It includes iterative methods which need initial condition like initial node voltages and step size. Step size is like time resolution of your simulation. For example, if you like to see a transient of 1 microsecond, you must take a step size much less than 1 microsecond to visualize a very smooth transient. But remember, using smaller time step increases simulation time as number of iteration increases. Also for a complex system, some time step may lead to divergence. So we may need to try one or two different sizes. Just keep this idea in mind in case you face divergence error. So coming back to our simulation, we take initial condition as determined automatically, which will work most of the time. Our time constant is 100 microsecond, so we can safely take maximum step size of 10 microseconds. Now let's check the signal at in and out nodes. The result of a simulation comes as a graph in a pop-up window named Grapher. You can reach here from view option at any time. The background can be black or white. These highlighted blocks of shortcuts are very useful. You must try and understand them yourself. For data measurement, we are adding cursor module inside the graph. As per our equation, we have calculated the output voltage after one time constant and after two time constants. We can validate the same using the cursors. Put the cursor 1 at step time and cursor 2 at 100 microsecond gap. You can see the value of signal out here. Now keep cursor 2 at 200 microsecond gap. You can see the outputs are in line with our calculations. So circuit validation is successful. The data from the plot are useful for different purposes as well. So you can export it into Excel from tools to export. Now let's do frequency analysis named as AC analysis and confirm the low pass properties in frequency domain. For frequency analysis, you can take only sine wave input module. So we replace the step with the sine voltage. For analysis, frequency range is kept from 1 to 100 MHz. And vertical scale, logarithmic is good. The AC analysis generates body plot of the system. For our circuit, we can see the cutoff frequency that is minus 3 dB gain point is 1.58 kHz, which corresponds to time constant of 100 microsecond only. You can calculate this yourself using the equation on the screen. Now we will do a parameter strip. The equation of this low pass filter is quite simple, but that is not true for complex circuits. To check the effect of variation of any component value, we do the parameter strip. Let's do it for Rn of our circuit. 
we choose Rn to vary in the range 500 to 5000 with a step of 500 ohms. The concept is, for every value of Rn, a transient simulation result will be plotted in a consolidated graph. Let's simulate and check. See the graph is showing clearly. Changing Rn changes the system time constant, so does the output curvature. This again proves the simulation is completely reliable. My words are certainly not good enough. Try simulating some known circuit yourself and validate the software. I hope the video was worth your time. To continue learning further, watch other videos of the series and of course do practice yourself. Thank you guys.